the attendees are discussing the best ways to sustainably manage and develop the sub-region's fisheries industry and the blue economy. They include representatives from the OECS, CARICOM and Japan and are seeking solutions to challenges caused by climate change, unsustainable resource usage and other issues. Japan's Foreign Affairs Parliamentary Vice Minister, His Excellency Akimoto Masatoshi, says his country and the Caribbean share similar values and challenges. He says Japan has helped small island states overcome issues relating to sargassum seaweed and fisheries and will continue to offer assistance. This visit to Antigua Barbuda is my first overseas business trip since I became Parliamentary Vice Minister for Foreign Affairs. This is a testament to the great importance I personally place on cooperation with Caribbean countries. St. Vincent and the Grenadines Fisheries Minister Saboto Caesar says meeting attendees must come up with practical solutions to address the challenges while keeping the most affected people in mind. The fishermen in Grosile, in Campbell, the fishermen in Guave, not being this room here today, but every moment that we spend discussing these issues, we have to remember them. Because at the end of the day, we are here to represent the interests. Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries and Barbuda Affairs, General Samantha Marshall, says she looks forward to recommendations from the meeting to strengthen and create new policies to improve the fisheries industry. Making industries better making our solutions and their implementations better, making our partnerships and cooperation better, and making our food sovereignty and security individually and collectively better. Jamie J. Roche, ABS News.